Hey guys, I Nobody's Help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys a few tips and tricks on your iPhone to help you improve network connection and call quality on your iPhone. Now it's been no secret over the past several years, iOS users have reported issues with network speed issues, with data speed issues, and I'm going to share with you guys a few tips as I mentioned on how to improve call quality and network performance anywhere you're at. So let's start with a few tips in the settings application. So one thing you always want to keep in mind that if you're indoors, the network reception, your cell reception is always going to be slightly lower. But there's a feature built into the iPhone under the phone extension in settings called Wi-Fi calling. Now this feature, I highly recommend you enable it and turn it on if it is available for you. This feature will help your iPhone improve the call quality and of course the data speeds transfers and performance over Wi-Fi when you're indoors. Maybe you're in your house or you're at work. If there's Wi-Fi, I highly recommend Wi-Fi calling on the iPhone. This is going to improve a whole lot the network connection indoors, the call quality, and of course download speeds as well. Another thing I always recommend everyone to do is to always check the conditions of the SIM card in your iPhone. Now, not many users know that the SIM card has a lot to do with the network performance. So every so often you wanna take out your SIM card and have a look at it. Make sure it doesn't look damaged. This one already needs a replacement. You see these little grids and these little lines? This one needs to be replaced. Carriers, for the most part, replace these for free. Always make sure that the SIM card tray is completely pushed in. So if you're getting no SIM card error or SIM card not detected issues on your iPhone, another thing you can do is turn on and turn off airplane mode on your iPhone. And uh, also make sure you reset the network settings on the device to see if this will also help improve the connection of your iPhone. Now again, SIM cards are usually free by the carrier. So I highly recommend if you switched from an older iPhone to a newer iPhone and you use the same SIM card, get that SIM card replaced and that will definitely help improve the network connection, reliability and call quality as well. Now before we do continue, I do want to give a shout out to our sponsors, Air. Allo. Air Allo, no longer would you have to worry about carrying around a hotspot device that you have to pay monthly fees for or worry about roaming charges if you're traveling. You can purchase data directly from your iPhone using Air Allo with over a hundred countries and regions to choose from anywhere you go. You can go ahead and buy data on your device or on your computer. It is very, very simple to set up. All you have to do is make sure you download their application or visit their website, select from many of the regions available and also many of their plans available. And most of these plans are the most affordable that you'll find in the market for data on your iPhone. So I just recently purchased this one gigabyte data plan. All I have to do is make sure I have a compatible device and the list will be in the description. You can use this for your iPhones, for your iPads, for Android devices. The list of devices will be in the description. Once you purchase the plan that you want, let's say I'm traveling and I need additional data so I don't go over my data limits on my iPhone, all I have to do is scan the QR code with another device. Again, you can do this on their website on the computer and scan the QR code with your phone or do it from one phone to an iPad and so forth and sort of scan it with the, the other device. I'll show you that here in a second. It's very simple. Or you can enter the information manually. So let's go ahead and scan that QR code on your iPhone. All you have to do is go to the cell options or mobile data, add a cell plan as simple as that and scan it. Just like so, this will allow you to scan this data into your iPhone and you can start using this data directly on device. So add cell plan and just like that is activating. It will continue to activate. Once it's ready, you can select this data as your primary data usage on this device. Once it expires, you can purchase more data or transfer back to your data. Again, this is going to help you save a ton of money on roaming charges if you're trying to avoid those and you're traveling overseas. If you just want to use an iPad with data, you can do this as well in other Android devices. You can see right here, I can turn on and off this line very simple by clicking right here and I can go ahead and enable it whenever I wish. 
on the latest iOS. Definitely recommend them for your data needs on your iPhone or any iOS device compatible with eSIM. Again, links will be in the description. Thank you to Air Allo for sponsoring today's video. In last but not least, two more tips I would like to share with you guys. Number one, make sure you go to sell go to sell data options and make sure that low data mode is not turned on if this is turned on and you do not need to save data turn it off this slows down network performance and speed and of course if you want to head on over to general and right here under resets you also want to make sure you reset your network settings if you continue to have issues with your network on your iphone you can reset it by entering your passcode and this will reset all of your wi-fi passwords all of your network settings and start fresh if you get that brand new sim card on your iphone hopefully these tips will help you improve the network connection on your iphone as well as call quality thank you for watching i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace